This lesson will look at finding the shortest distance between a point and a line using the scalar product. We're going to start by considering the line r equals 1, 4 plus lambda 2, 1 and the point a with coordinates 5, 1. We're going to try to find the shortest distance from a to line l. Now the rule we're going to use is the fact that the closest points um, will be where the two lines are perpendicular. The shortest way of getting from a point to a line is to go at right angles. Now, in this case, we can actually solve this problem by inspection because we can see that here, in order to go at right angles, we could use Pythagoras theorem, two squared plus four squared square rooted gives us root 20. We're going to try to find this in any case. The closest point on the line, which we have labelled P here, to point A, is called the foot of the perpendicular. So in this case, we can see that point P, the foot of the perpendicular, has coordinates 3, 5. So generally speaking, we're going to let point P be the closest point on the line to point A, the foot of the perpendicular. And because we know that the shortest way of getting to the line from point A is to go at right angles, we know that AP will be perpendicular to the direction vector of the line. In other words, the scalar product between AP and the direction vector of the line will be zero because the two vectors will be perpendicular. We're going to first of all find an expression for AP. Now we know that point P lies on the line, so therefore P's position vector must satisfy the equation of the line. In other words, there must be a value of lambda such that that value of lambda gives us point P. Therefore, we can use the equation of the line, put it together as a single vector, and for some value of lambda that we don't know yet, but we're going to find, this will give us OP. This will give us the direction vector, the position vector of point P. Now that we've got an expression for OP, we can find AP. Now AP is calculated by finding OP minus OA. We already have OA, it's 5, 1. We already now have OP. So OP minus OA simplifies down to give us this vector here, 2 lambda minus 4 lambda plus 3. We're now going to find the scalar product of AP with the direction vector of the line. We know the direction vector of the line is 2, 1 from the equation of the line there. And because we know that these two vectors are perpendicular, we can set that scalar product equal to 0. So this is the direction vector of the line. This is the direction AP. We're going to find the scalar product and set it equal to zero. So the scalar product is given there. Simplifying this down and solving the equation gives us lambda equals one. In other words, lambda equals one is the value that will give us point P if we were to substitute into the equation of the line. However, we're not really trying to find point P, we're trying to find the distance from A to P. So we can also substitute lambda equals 1 into the vector that we already found for AP. And this will give us the vector to get us from A to P. So substituting lambda equals 1 into AP. This gives us minus 2, 4. We can then find the magnitude of AP and this will represent the distance between the point and the line. The magnitude of AP is the square root of 20. This is the value that we found earlier by inspection when we were trying to work out the distance between A and the line. This method for finding the shortest distance between a point and a line also works in three dimensions. 
So we're going to use it to find the shortest distance between point A with position 1, 3, minus 1, and the line with equation R equals 3, 0, minus 1, plus lambda 2, minus 1, 3. So first of all, we're going to draw a perpendicular line from A to the line. We're going to label the foot of the perpendicular, P, and we're going to find an expression for the position of P. So because P lies on the line, P has a position vector 3 plus 2 lambda minus lambda minus 1 plus 3 lambda. This comes directly from the equation of the line. Now that we have a position vector for P, we can find vector AP. AP is found by calculating OP minus OA. So calculating OP minus OA gives us 2 plus 2 lambda minus 3 minus lambda and 3 lambda. We now know that AP must be perpendicular to the direction vector of the line in order for AP to be the shortest route. So we're going to find the scalar product of AP with the direction of the line, which we know is 2 minus 1, 3. So the scalar product of the direction of the line with vector AP can be calculated here and set equal to 0. Multiplying this out and solving the equation, gives us lambda equals negative a half. Now, if we wanted to find the position of point P from this, we would substitute lambda equals negative a half back into here. However, we want to find the distance from A to P, so we're going to substitute lambda equals negative a half into the vector AP. We sub into vector AP, this will give us the vector here. We can then find its magnitude, and that will be the distance that we are looking for. So AP with lambda equals negative a half substituted in is here. If we find the magnitude of AP, we arrive at the answer square root of 19 over 2. So that is the shortest distance between point A and the line. Now pause the slide and use the method set out on the previous two examples to find the shortest distance between point A and the line given. So here, the diagram shows the line. Point A. and the foot of the perpendicular, point P. So we can give point P the position vector 1 plus 5 lambda from the equation of the line and 0 plus 2 lambda. So the vector AP will be the vector OP minus the vector OA. OP, in terms of lambda, is 1 plus 5 lambda, 2 lambda, and OA is 4, 7. This gives us vector AP as 5 lambda minus 3, 2 lambda minus 7. We now know that AP is perpendicular. To the direction of the line which is 5 2 so therefore we can find the scalar product of AP with the direction of the line set this equal to 0 and find the value of lambda so we get Five times five lambda minus three plus two times two lambda minus seven equals zero. This gives us twenty five lambda minus fifteen plus four lambda minus fourteen equals zero. 
So 29 lambda equals 29. Therefore, we get a value of lambda equals 1. So in order to find the vector a to p, we now need to substitute in lambda equals 1. So a to p is the vector 2 minus 5. Therefore, the magnitude of a to p is 2 squared is 5 squared square root. We get a distance of 20, uh, root 29. Now pause the slide and find the shortest distance between point A and the line given. So here we have the line and point A. We can see that the shortest distance to the line is the distance to P, which is the foot of the perpendicular, and we can give P, the position vector, 1 plus 2 lambda, 0 plus 2 lambda, 2 minus lambda. This is directly from the equation of the line because P lies on the line. We can then find an expression for the vector A to P. This is calculated using OP minus OA. So here we have 1 plus 2 lambda. 2 lambda, 2 minus lambda, minus the position vector of A, which is 10, 9, 11. So AP is the vector 2 lambda minus 9, 2 lambda minus 9 again, and uh, minus lambda minus 9. So now we know that AP is perpendicular to the direction vector of the line, and we know the direction of the line is 2, 2, minus 1 from the equation. So we can find the scalar product of 2, 2, minus 1 with AP, which is 2 lambda minus 9, 2 lambda minus 9, minus lambda minus 9. Because we know that these two vectors are perpendicular, we know the scalar product is 0, so we get 2, 2 lambda minus 9 plus 2 times 2 lambda minus 9 minus 1 times minus lambda minus 9 equals 0. So expanding this, we get 4 lambda minus 18 plus 4 lambda minus 18 plus lambda plus 9 equals 0. This simplifies to give us 9 lambda minus 27 equals 0. So 9 lambda equals 27. So the value of lambda for point P is 3. We can then substitute lambda equals 3 back into the vector AP. This gives us 2 times 3 minus 9. 2 times 3 minus 9 and minus 3, minus 9, giving us a vector of minus 3, minus 3, minus 12. So the magnitude we are looking for, the distance from A to P, will be square root of 162, which is 9 root 2. Now complete questions 12, 14, 15 and 16 on exercise 9D, page 216.